Welcome to... Hey, 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 hey. That's better. Welcome to Indie Popcorn, your guide to independent cinema and other kernels of knowledge. You know what? I'm not going to say your guide to independent kernels of knowledge anymore. Somebody's got to write me something different. I will not say that anymore. Oh. Well, that was quick. <clears throat> Welcome to Indie Popcorn, your source for news for independent cinema and 44 ounces of sugary carbonated knowledge. You know what? Let's just start the show with the headline, shall we? <clears throat> the Fault in Our Stars director Josh Boone and Warner Brothers announced that they will release an eight-part miniseries of Stephen King's The Stand before the film adaptation, which Boone will also direct, is released. Okay? Okay. Cool. The New York Film Festival has announced its 53rd edition will open with a screening of the Robert Zemeckis film The Walk. The Walk is about Philippe Petit, the man who walked a wire between the World Trade Center twin towers. Philippe Petit will be played by Joseph Gordon-Levitt. There's also a documentary about Philippe Petit. It's called Man on Wire, if you're interested in checking that out. 25 years and 180 books ago, R.L. Stein was an unknown author from Ohio. And you know, it's a shame he didn't stay that way. But now the famed author has announced that the first theatrically released Goosebumps movie will be released starring Jack Black and helmed by Monsters and Aliens or Monsters vs. Aliens director Rob Letterman. It'll be released this October. Jack Black. Ooh. I don't know about you boys and girls, but I'm getting goosebumps already just thinking about Jack Black. Ooh, he's so scary. Ooh. And now our classic segment that we're doing for the first time this week. This week in film history, where we tell you what happened in film history. Well, this week. In previous years. Or something like that. Well, you get it. You, anyway. <clears throat> Famous film critic Roger Ebert was born this week in 1942. He would have been 73. Steven Spielberg's classic horror film Jaws was released this week in 1975. It's the film's 40th anniversary. Well, that bites. I thought Jaws came out before I was born. Thelma and Louise, the classic film about two women on the run after having killed a man, was released this week in 1991. Isn't that cheery? This week in 2006, the first Blu-ray disc was released. Blu-rays are better known as the far inferior medium originally in competition with HD DVDs. I mean, Blu-ray. What kind of name is that? How were we supposed to know that it was a digital video disc? We talk about a fad. Now, let's talk about something relevant. Saint Laurent opens this week. It's the second biographical drama about the famed fashion designer Yves Saint Laurent. It was directed by Bertrand Bonello, and it stars a bunch of French people that my director thinks I can't pronounce their names. But I can, but he won't even let me try. Thanks. Is a poem a naked person? We'll find out this week when Les Blank's 1972 film, A Poem is a Naked Person, comes out. It took 30 years for them to finally release it, so we've decided to wait that long to finally watch it. And now, Previously recorded from Salt Lake City, it's Indie Popcorn! Well, you already knew that. This weekend, Live from New York comes out. It's a documentary about the history of Saturday Night Live, a show that for the past 40 years has managed to stay on the air despite every famous cast member either being fired or leaving or, sadly, dying. Ah, uh, it's a real tearjerker. It's going to be, I'm sure. 
All right, that's it for this episode of Indie Popcorn. Tune in, or more appropriately, click in for the next episode where we'll talk about other things uh, that we'll talk about. You know what I'm talking about. Or am I talking about anything that you want to talk about? Or what are we talking about? Just, Just make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment on these episodes, if you would, please. I'm Bill Allred. You're not. Goodbye.